video I'm going to show you how to round numbers in Google Sheets. So there's multiple ways to round. I'm going to show you a few different ways. Um, one, I'm going to show you how to round with the decimal place tools. I'm going to show you how to round using custom number formatting. And then I'm going to show you the four round functions of round, round up, round down, and M round and how to use these functions to round in Google Sheets. So the first one I'm going to show is just rounding using the decimal place tool. So if you just need to quickly round your numbers and you're trying to make them uniform, you can find them up at the top here. So if you want to decrease the decimal places, um, you would just click that. If you want to increase, you would hit that. So that one's pretty simple. You don't have as much customization over what you're rounding to with these options, but it's a lot faster than some of the other methods. So that's one way to quickly round. Another way is using custom number formatting. So what you want to do with this one is first you're going to highlight the cells that you want to round and you're going to change the format. So you can come up to the top format number. So if you just want to round to two decimal places, you can just hit um, the number option here and it's going to round everything to two. If you want to change that and round to more, um, you go to the same spot, format, number, and then come to the bottom, more formats. Uh, let me zoom out, that's not showing up. Custom number format. And then um, you'll have this option here with these um, hashtags or pound signs. And there's a decimal place here. If you add zeros to the end of this, um, that will tell Google Sheets how many um, decimal places you want to round to. So I'll just add four to this for the example. And you can see now that I have that, it's rounding to four decimal places. So again, highlight the cells you want to change, format, number, more formats, custom number format, and then you can play um, with the different rules here to round specifically to what you're trying to round to. So that is um, two of the quicker methods to round, um, but sometimes using one of the four round functions is actually a better option. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. So um, this function has two arguments. Um, the first is what are you trying to round? And then the second is the number of decimal places you're trying to round to. So the whole numbers here um, will round to um, the right of the decimal place and then negative numbers round to the left of the decimal place. So let me just um, type this formula out so you can see how to use it. So with any formula, you hit equals first and then I'm gonna type round and then when I see the formula I want, tabs to enter the formula. So again, the first parameter of this formula, or the first argument, is what do I want to round? So I'm just going to hit A2, and then I'm going to do it 1 in my closing parentheses. Um, so you can see it rounded um, to one decimal place because my second parameter is 1. So let me just copy this, but let me just change this second parameter to two, um, three, I'll do a zero on this one. This one I'll do a negative one. And this one I will do a negative two. So you can see um, when my second argument of this formula is a two, it's rounding to two decimal places. When it's a three, it's rounding to three decimal places. When it's a zero, it's just rounding to the nearest um, whole number when it's negative one, it's rounding two decimal places to the left of the um, decimal place. And then when it's negative two, it's rounding uh, basically three numbers to the left of the decimal place. So that's how you use the round function. Um, if you want to round up, the round up function is useful. So I already have this formula um, typed out. It's this same exact syntax, but you're using round up. So the same rules apply, except round up, you're rounding up every single time. So 
um, round uses your standard um, rounding rules of five or greater always rounds up. Um, less than five always rounds down. Round up is going to do the same thing as round, but it rounds up every time. Um, so th you have the same exact rules with the second parameter being positive or negative, whether it rounds to the right or left of the decimal place. Um, so you can just see the different ones in here, but otherwise it's pretty similar to round. Um, the next option is round down, um, and this is the opposite of round up. Um, and it's basically the same thing. So positive numbers um, indicate to the right of the decimal place and then negative numbers are to the left of the decimal place. So um, that is how that rounds and it just rounds down every time. Um, the next one, which is a little more complicated, is M round. What M round does is it rounds to the nearest multiple of an integer. So M round, um, it works pretty similar. The first parameter of your formula is what you were trying to round. The second parameter is going to be um, the multiple that you want to round to. So one, I'm rounding to multiples of one. Two, I'm rounding to the nearest multiple of two. So you can see a three rounds up to four. With three, I'm rounding up to the nearest multiple of three. So this one's gonna round to nine, and then so on. It just rounds to the nearest multiple of the second number. So those are pretty much um, the best ways to round in Google Sheets. If you want more information on these, I'll put a link to the full blog post in the description of this video. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.